This is going to be a setup, not one that is meant to physically harm you, but one that is meant to authenticate you or prove you to be inauthentic. There are a group of people who are sitting around talking about a particular uh, topic and several of them have suggestions or they bring up people um, who are related to whatever this thing they're talking about. Okay. One person in this group really has some um, interesting things to say about you and they're not negative at all, but they're not necessarily um, praiseworthy either. Right. So it intrigues other people who are sitting in this little circle, this group of people. And one of them decides that they are going to approach you. Now, let me be clear. You do not know this person. You have never met them before. When they come towards you, they may not even introduce themselves with a name. They may simply talk about what they know you to be able to do or um, find out how they can um, book your service, your time, um, have a private moment with you. Their intention is to see if you are what these this person has said you are. Now, I also know when this person approaches you, something about the approach is going to be inconvenient for you. So they, um, you know, this might be something where someone is coming towards you to, let's say, book an appointment, but they want it when you don't have any appointments available. Or someone may be coming towards you to... Um, buy a particular product that you create, but you might not have um, any left in a particular color or size that they are looking for. Something about this person is also different or foreign from you. They may be of a different race, class, ethnicity, nationality, and whatever hoops they send you through, they won't actually respond positively to you making allotments or special accommodations for them. If you say, I don't have it in stock or Um, I will, you know, work on it to deliver something specifically for you, or I will make time available for you, though it is outside of my appointment schedule. This person may stop responding. Now, what they're going to do is test to see how far they can push this. Okay. So you may begin to work on a product for them, make time for them. They will disappear. And then at the very last minute, they will come back. See, what's happening is also while they are working with you and talking to you, someone else is trying to encourage or suggest that they use another person that they attempt to authenticate or have an experience with another person who may do something similar to what you do. If you are, if you crochet clothing and someone wants to buy a swimsuit from you or something, someone may be telling them, oh, I know this, this place that actually sells crochet swimsuits and they have them available and you can get one right now and you don't have to wait. And you should try that out. So this person is actually considering their options as they are talking to you and as you are making special accommodations for them.
Don't worry. They're going to come back, but they're going to come back at the very last minute. And they may even come back looking for a little bit more than what they originally asked for. So if they, you know, if you make candles and you're making one specifically for them in the color red or something, they may come back at the very last minute after you haven't heard from them and say, okay, I'll take the red one, but do you have any uh, green, white, and blue ones as well? And there may be a time limit or there may be some, um, some restriction or boundary that puts you in a position to either, again, accommodate them in this way or um, say, no, I'm unavailable to do that. Or, you know, yes, I have those in stock. You can have them too. Either way it goes, I don't feel like the extra is going to cause any sort of fluttering or um, it won't cause you to uh, lose control or be out of balance in any way. This is a part of the test as well. Something about this person is, um, now I don't think it is their intention to be negative or to test you necessarily, but whatever the outcome is you have with this person is going to decide whether or not they um, tell other people about what you've done. And they have a, the interesting thing about this person is they have a new network of customers, of onlookers, of watchers, that you have not tapped into yet. And that is going to be the benefit of this. Now, whatever they're coming to you to prove that you do well or that you're the best in or that you make better than anyone else, you're gonna knock that part out of the park. That won't be an issue. Also, something about the way you're creating this or setting it up, it gives you time to give a high quality, top notch product or um, outcome of whatever this is that they're requesting. Don't sweat it, but keep yourself in alignment with delivering whatever it is they're looking for because they are going to come back to you. OK, they just have some influence going on around them. And they do want to look into their options, but they will choose you. Okay. I love you.